Hello there, today we have part two of the Albert Sandy trilogy in Diary of a Wimpy Kid. This one is titled Inside the Mind of Albert Sandy. And again, go see part one if you haven't already, or else you won't really get what's going on in this one, but I mean, whatever floats your boat. If you want to watch this one, then that's fine. Anyway, let's get into it. Tuesday. This past week, I fucked up a lot. Actually, my biggest mistake, making Greg halfly suspicious of my whole plan. No, seriously, fuck Greg. He used to be so gullible and naive, believing all the bullshit I told the guys at lunch, no matter how ridiculous it sounded. Guess what? Someone discovered flying hippos in Uganda. It's true, you know. You know, at least Albert knows he's spewing bullshit. I, that, that's an interesting perspective. And now he probably sees me as some creep who spends all his spare time jacking off to yogurt porn and reading girls' books. Really, though, I hope he dies a slow and painful death, and his idiotic friend Rally can go with them. That twit has a mental age of a six-year-old. By the way, if you heard that out of context, I really recommend you go see part one so you know what this is talking about. Speaking of which, I bet Rowley's so mentally retarded that he won't even notice if I gave him some, kind, some of my yogurt. This should end well. Anything else? Well, my parents' return will be delayed by at least a few days because they accidentally boarded a plane bound for Plainview, Australia. Ah, well. Gives me more time to enact my plan. Ah, uh, yes. Look, looks like Arena uploaded a new video. Well, I gotta go watch this. Hope Greg doesn't find this new diary like he did the old one. Note to self. Find new places to hide porn stash. Must do ASAP. Remember, buy new copies of books 4, 6, 7, and 10. Or find way to steal them off Greg Halfley. Speaking of mistakes I made, I really should have gotten some help from less suspicious people. Conspicuous people. I mean, Dennis, Eric, and the others are great, but they really don't have a good reputation at school. And I'm guessing that as soon as Greg noticed me hanging out with them, he got suspicious. He got bad, then he got good. See, the bigger the nose, the worse when it comes to the wimpy kid characters. That's all I'm saying. Because you have, like, the absolute menace to societies, and you have just, like, Alex Aruda. Speaking of which, I wonder if Alex Aruda is willing to help me. I mean, he doesn't like Greg either, right? At least I think he doesn't. And another thing, I can't kidnap a whole bunch of students at once. Greg noticed that last time, and if anything, I don't want him to notice that anyone's gone missing. Oh, and I need to find somewhere else to use as headquarters. Greg and his cronies know where I can live, and I can't keep anything important here. Cronies? Since when does Greg have cronies? Oh, that's the whole fan fiction. Well, that was short.